Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. Today I have a three-pile pick-a-pile reading, and the question is, who is coming towards you? I have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. <clears throat> I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you that creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. To my subscribers, welcome back, and to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So yes, who is coming towards you? Once again, pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. With that being said, I'm going to start with pile number one. Pile number one is first. Yes, sirree. Okay, here's pile number one. Let's find out who is coming towards you. Let's see. This right over here will show. <laughs> All right. We have the five of swords, the five, the hierophant. Wow. The chariot. So, yeah, someone's coming. <laughs> we have the seven of cups, the hermit. The Devil, oh man. Three of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Three of Swords, and Four of Swords, okay. Oh, no, I'm sorry, the Emperor. <laughs> My bad. All right. <clears throat> Let's see, let's trying to see what we got here. Okay, so who's coming towards you is somebody who might be involved somewhere, right? This person is very deceptive and he likes to lie, he or she. Okay, this person is coming towards you definitely on that chariot wanting to do something to you or talk to you or do something with you or make some sort of offer, right? But they're not going to be quite honest about what this is. They really aren't. This person, I think, is involved somewhere, maybe married, right? Um, they may even try to offer you marriage, but they're lying, okay? They're not being honest, you guys, whoever chose this pile, but they're coming nonetheless, okay? We have the Seven of Cups here. This is somebody who might have a lot of options. You might have a lot of options, you know, but this person also has a lot of options. And they go within and they try to figure out which option is best for them at that time, right? Uh, this person is involved with some sort of devil energy, some sort of addictions, uh, codependency issues. Yeah. Mm. You know who this is. You already know. We have the Three of Pentacles here. Yeah, and this big old liar is going to try to come and offer something and say they want to work something out, right? But this bur person has a burden, though. And this burden is the fact that they might be involved somewhere or, um, you know, they might be at a job they can't leave or something like that, right? They could be in school. Can't leave, can't do this, that, and the other because of school, right? They live close to school, they came home to visit, whatever, right? Also, we have the Six of Pentacles here. And what that's telling me is, yes, it's going to be hard for somebody to involve you in whatever they're doing because they've got something else going on at another location, right? They're giving to two. They got something going on over yonder, and they got something going on with you. Now, to me... Because I'm looking straight at that Three of Swords, this is a three-party situation. Somebody could be lying to you, saying that, oh, they're going to their mother's, or they stay with their mother, or they take care of their mother, or they uh, are going to school right now, their job is over there, whatever. This person is not being honest about something, okay? Uh, this person has other options and other spots, too, though, okay? So if you turn them down, they're probably going to go to somewhere else and make set up some little you know thing over there too 
I don't know about this person, you guys. Maybe you don't want them coming towards you. But at least you know. You know, because they're going to tell, give you some sort of excuses of why they can't be hanging out all the time, right? Um, uh, they do want to have this conversation with you real bad, though, right? They want to have this heated discussion or debate, right? Heated. Mm. Yeah, this person is in the energy of the emperor. And this person is going through three-party situation, and you are one of the parties. Yes. Maybe not exactly what you wanted to hear, but that's who's coming towards you. So you might want to be a little careful on, um, you know, with your questions in return, right? Make sure that you ask the right questions and things because who knows? Maybe you have a lot of people approaching you. You don't, you don't know which one is this one, right? Or it could be a combination of several. I don't know. But with that being said, somebody is coming. They are a burden, too. They are a burden. You you know, I think, who this is already. I have the feeling. Yeah. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Because we always like that. It's always nice to have that equal give and take relationship, right? Yeah. Um, also, don't forget to keep it true love energy, happy, friendly, and loving. And we have nothing to fear because we stay calm and we stay cheerful. And everything's going to be okay. Sunny days, right? Well, today it is anyways, for the most part. Um, and with that being said, um, if this is where I leave you, I'm going to go ahead and move along to pile number two. My name is Mona, this is Clay School of Dreams Tarot, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, here is pile number two. I'm trying to find out who is coming towards you. Let's find out. Put this little guy right here. Okay. Let's see. We got the Page of Pentacles. We got the Nine of Wands. We have the Seven of Cups. The Hierophant. The Tower. Mm. The High Priestess. Ooh. Ooh. It's like a competition of some sort. The Ace of Wands. The Fool. The Three of Swords, the Empress, the Ten of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Wowzers. Okay, this is a serious one. I'm feeling that way. I'm feeling like it's serious. This is serious, y'all. Whoever picked pile number two. Let's see. We got the Page of Pentacles, okay, and this person is um, not very wealthy, okay, there's not a lot of money, but they're trying to start something, right? They're trying to start something, um, they're working on things, maybe a labor job of some sort, this person trying to build some sort of um, security in their life, some stability, right? This person is definitely wearing a mask, and this person... Um, is getting tired of whatever it is they're dealing with, right? Um, they could be dealing with others. We have the Seven of Cups here, and it's just too many others, Many, maybe too many options here, right? Somebody grows weary of having to deal with all these passions and all these issues with these passions, right? Um, this person has a lot of options, and I see here that um, it's like they got to carry everybody's burdens or something of some sort. I don't know why um, this person feels like they are, you know, they look overworked. They look tired. Um, they look like they're just doing, they're just working to work, you know, not even really getting anything, not able to save, not just, you know, no real reward here. Now, I also see here, we have the Hierophant, and this person may be married, right? 
this person may be married to a religious person or, you know, something like that or dealing with somebody who is a religious person, right? Because a hierophant can also be like a, a pastor or a priest or something like that. But they're dealing with somebody who is very well uh, learned in the um, in some sort of situation, right? Whatever books they're reading, whatever studies they're doing, right? But this person, whoever is in this Hierophant energy, is trying to bring the tower down on a certain individual. Yes. And it looks like they're trying to do that to the High Priestess. Now, the High Priestess is very spiritual. The High Priestess um, uses sacred knowledge and intuition, you know. This person is not really connected to anybody. This is a single person um, just doing their own thing, just enjoying their self, you know, whatever. They might like to do some moon stuff, whatever. But this person is very powerful. You know, this person here knows some book stuff. Yeah. This person, know, you know, maybe knows how to read recipes, if you catch my drift. Right? trying to make a recipe to bring down this high priestess. Well, this could have been done in the past. To bring the tower crashing down, but the high priestess is a little bit of a different kind of individual. The high priestess doesn't need all those books. Because whatever comes to the high priestess comes naturally. Um, this person has the sacred gift, the sacred knowledge. And this person is protected, right? very much so. So this person here can do all the reading they want and recipes and incantations while this one is just being protected and doing her own thing and just trying to bring joy around, you know, under the light of the moon. As we move on here, we have this Ace of Wands here. And this guy who's working his butt off, whoever this person is, wants to go on or start something new in regards to their passions. Like somebody may want to be a builder of some sort or do something. So this person has a passion for something and that person wants to start it already. This person wants to go after his or her passions, right? Taking a new leap of faith in a different direction because they are tired of whatever that is. They're tired of working for nothing. That's basically what it is. Working with no actual uh, gra gratification from whatever they're doing. They're just doing it day by day, doing it, doing it, doing it. And that's it. Like that's what they figure their life has been set for. But that's not true. But maybe somebody told them that. Who knows? This person wants to go and take a leap of faith in another direction. But we have the Three of Swords here. There's another person involved here. It might be this Hierophant energy right here. It might also be the High Priestess energy over there. So somebody is dealing with two individuals here, okay? This person, you could be the Hierophant individual, or you could be the High Priestess individual. You are one of the two, viewer. And this person knows about the three party. This person is all well aware, and I think so are these two. I don't know. And this person wants to take a leap of faith. They want to stop working for nothing. They want to stop working just to work because they have to work. Not really getting any enjoyment out of their own life. Not really liking what they're doing, maybe even. Maybe they want to be an artist. They're getting dirty and greasy and whatever. Maybe they want to be an artist, and the person who is in this third-party situation is also an artist. Which one of you are the artists? I think that's the one that this person wants to head towards, but it's three-party situation. 
And the Hierophant's there. Now, somebody is there and interrupting whatever this is. We have the Empress. So somebody is married to somebody. Um, this person is married because we have a Hierophant there. Um, I'm getting another story. This person could have been involved with an individual, but because the tower came down, the Ten of Swords became apparent, this person broke out of whatever mold this was and turned into the High Priestess. Ace of Wands, I love you. Look at that. Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands. Two people having passions for the same similar thing, right? We got the Ace of Wands twice. Two similar passions. Two people that want to unite possibly in marriage. There's a third party here. Somebody's there is a third party here that somebody is like chained to bound to. This person hates it there. Hates it there. At night they just sit and they're like, ugh. Friggin' hate it here. Where they, where they really want to be is here. Having a lot of options, a lot of happiness going on. Joy. In the same position on this side. We have joy, don't we? The high priestess who has the same similar passions. Well, uh, this one is connected to this one. <laughs> Somehow, some way, right? And they can't make a choice. So that's the person who's who might be coming towards you. Is this person who's very unhappy with their life, but they're stuck, they're bound to something. This could be family, this could be friends, this could be romantic, it's something. So yeah, that's what I have for pile number two on who's coming towards you. Don't forget to keep it true love energy, right? Happy, friendly, and loving types. And we have nothing to fear because we stay calm, we stay cheerful, and that's how, you know, life should be. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. I do love equal give and take relationships, and uh, it's good for your karma, good for karma points, right? Yeah. Um, with that being said, you guys, if you guys aren't moving on to pile number three, I am. So I'm going to end it right there. I'm Mona. This is Clive Scope Dreams Tarot, and I'll speak to you next time. Bye. Okay, so here is pile number three. Who is coming towards you? Let's find out. <clears throat> Let's put this to the side right here. Let's see what we got. We got the seven of pentacles. We got the five of pentacles. Oh, we got the Devil, darn. We got the Five of Swords. These are all upside down. Okay. We got the King of Cups. We got the Five of Cups. Next here we have the Empress. The Knight of Wands. The Ten of Swords. The Eight of Cups. Son of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So basically, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody is trying to revive something from the past, right? They're trying their hardest to revive. Look at that tree. It's like, it looks like it's dying. It's dead. Somebody's definitely trying to revive something from the past. Something that involves some devil energy. Yeah, I'm feeling left out in the cold, right? Somebody may have left another individual feeling left out in the cold because of devil energy, right? Devil energy being addictions and stuff like that, right? <clears throat> the undesirable stuff, right? 
somebody is watching as another individual is feeling left out in the cold, they're, they're watching this person. They're watching this person suffer. Somebody is watching another person suffer. So look who's coming towards you. Um, it might be some somebody in some devil energy, somebody who got left out in the cold. You might be a last resort, something like that. But they're going to try and rejuvenate what was in the past, though. Right? And if this devil energy was part of the past, I'm not sure that you're going to want that. <clears throat> now, with this Five of Swords here, this is about, you know, somebody not being quite honest. No, they weren't being quite honest at all, and it might be this King of Cups. That's the person who's possibly coming your way. You may have actually walked away from this individual in the past. Yeah, this is somebody from your past. You may have actually walked away from this individual already because they lied to you. They lied to you. And you were the empress. And somebody now is trying to rejuvenate this situation because they're figuring out, oh my gosh, this is the empress. Male or female energy, swap them how you feel you need to. was the Knight of Wands who uh, is feeling left out in the cold now, though. This is the energy, possibly, of this King of Cups. Somebody received some messages of passion, and somebody got thrown out on their ear. Yeah, I see that, too. This devil energy, this person, this, this evil individual who threw that other person out in the cold, this is, is backstabbing energy. Somebody may have thought that this, that an individual in their life was on the straight and narrow would always get their back, but yeah, they did get their back with ten knives, right? Stabbed in the back. Now this Knight of Wands has lost passion, is, is maybe homeless and sad and just depressed because they found out something out. They found something out in regards to this Empress, and this devil energy was at hand, right? That devil energy is what did this. Somebody was lied to, and they walked away from the liar. Could have actually been this King of Cups, and they might have even received some messages about money or money loss even. Money loss, money gain, money something, right? Some sort of stability or material gain. might be money lost because somebody walked away. Somebody walked away from this King of Cups, somebody from the past, possibly this Empress, and this was the way that they were to have happiness in their life, stability and balance. So you might be this Empress, and somebody wa you walked away from this individual. You know who this is. This is the person who did you wrong. This is the person who lied to you. They're coming back. They're coming back, and they're going to try to rejuvenate something. Use your intuition. Use your intuition on this, because it's really hard to tell nowadays who's really being honest. You're going to have to really dig deep on this one. Don't make any hasty decisions, no. Make sure you think things through completely. Make sure you get the whole story. Yeah, because when they come, there's going to be some lies in there. And if there's not any lies, there's going to be withholding of information, with his, which is just as bad as lying. I know you agree with that. But I do see that whoever this message of passion is coming in for towards this empress, whoever this person who's feeling left out in the cold, maybe got tossed out the house, somebody is watching them. Somebody in the devil energy. So this is where you need to be careful because somebody's coming, but somebody's watching that person. 
So make sure you got your ass covered, right? C-Y-A, cover your ass. Because something's coming, and somebody may be even trying to get you in trouble. Because there's somebody watching this individual. Watching to make their move. Maybe they're being tracked. I don't know. But you got to be careful because they're trying to rejuvenate something with you to put you in that devil energy. No, and that's not what you want. So be careful. Use your intuition, right? Make sure you do things out of both equal head and heart decision making, right? That's how you're going to make the best decision here. Use logic too, not just your heart. Because sometimes your heart can get you in trouble, can't it? So just keep it true love energy, happy, friendly, and loving types. We have nothing to fear because we stay calm and we stay cheerful, right? Everything was going to go smoothly as long as we really follow our intuition. Now, if this resonates in any way, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. You know, that'd be great. Equal give and take relationships are always nice, right? Yeah. It's good for your karma, too. <laughs> well, if I leave you here, pile number three, this is what I have for you. This is who's coming towards you. Mm -hmm. I'm Mona. This is Clyde Scope Dreams Tarot, and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.